Bonjour à tous, hola a todos, mina san konnichiwa, and who could forget? Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a fan requested comparison today. Your pick, right, Mark's Max Muscle. I have another idea of comparison for you, Mike Christian versus Arnold. Same type of physique. Well, you are right about one thing, the same type of physique for sure, but the same height. Around the same weight, but what you are incorrect is your placing of the word of. You should have put another idea for a comparison for a. So your two words, really, it's way off. But who cares? It's an excellent idea. Never mind the spelling or anything like that. I was just trying to be funny, add a little joke to the, you know, if you're if you're into jokes, whatever. And um, one thing that also is not the same here is the camera angle way off right up above arnold here in his chest his pack development and mike christian i believe the camera angle is so far below but on another topic here this is the the only front relaxed position i could find of mike christian and that's that's atrocious this man had an incredible physique where were you cameramen terrible terrible so, really, I cannot use this one as a judging tool. Although, one thing's for sure, those pecs of Arnold are going to be... Anyway, let's get on with this. The front double bicep pose. This is a good comparison. You are right, yar pec. This is, uh, they are very similar structurally. But one thing Mike Christian is missing is about two inches, two or three inches of bicep meat. Look at the size of Arnold. And not just the size of Arnold's biceps, but those peaks, the quality, the shape. I mean, maybe some IFBB pros have the same size of Arnold's, but definitely not that shape. Arnold's legs here, fantastic. Keeping up with the Joneses here, and Mike Christian being the Joneses. But Arnold gets a point here, in my opinion, without a doubt. And could there even be any doubt here in the front lat spread? The 1970s is mowing right over top of the 1980s here. Of course, Mike Christian was not the top dog. We all know who was. That would be an excellent comparison too. But this one is as well. Mike Christian's legs here. Awesome, strided, good size. But look at Arnold's legs. Earlier on in his career, he is a... Talked about as a man with not a good set of legs, but I'm telling you, aside from the 75 Arnold, his legs were good and massive, as you can see. And look at the shape, the quality of physique. This is a knockout shot. Look at the lat spread on this man. 1970s. Of course, in the 1970s, there was not a whole lot of side tricep poses. You can see Arnold here in the 1960s, but... You don't see them posing a lot in the in the as a mandatory shot. So Arnold stayed away from the side tricep for some reason in his entire career. This, so this is not really fair. Arnold's maybe 11, 12 years old here. He's one big Austrian kid, though, I'm here to tell you. I don't know. Maybe by default I'm going to give this one to Christian. Look at the conditioning of his legs. Look at the size of his legs. Arnold, little pins. Like I said, he's only five years old here. But a big, big kid. Anyway, Mike Christian, like I said, by default here, look at the separation and the tricep itself. I'm going to give him a pity point, so to speak. And in those few years, separating that side tricep from this side chest, Arnold was suckling from the proverbial teat. Look at the muscle he put on. Oh, my soul. Now, if you ask me, this one is a knockout shot. Arnold gets this one. He has just... Too big, even in the lags. This 1974 Arnold presented the biggest set of lags. The biggest upper body. This is just the biggest and best Arnold there was. Of course, I have to judge this one fairly. And the conditioning of Mike Christian is out of sight. I would estimate that the conditioning is winning. Of course, you hear a lot of stories about Arnold's conditioning actually was excellent. In 74, the pitchers were blurry, and the, the arena, or the, wherever they were, just wasn't good, good footage. But I don't know. Look at the conditioning, guys. I almost have to give this one to Christian, don't I? Well, no, I don't. That, that is about a foot thick of meat 
on Arnold's pecs. He gets this one. But I'm here to tell you that conditioning of Mike Christian makes this one a close draw. Here we have the rear double bicep. The only back comparison, I am afraid. I couldn't find a rear lat spread of Mike Christian. It's very strange and vexing as well. Wow. Look at the Christmas tree of Arnold. You know what people often overlook this Christmas tree of the Austrian oak? I don't remember any bodybuilders prior to Arnold with one of these babies. Do you? Anybody? Does anybody recall? I think Arnold may have had the first Christmas trees. Baby, please. Louis Marco. Oh, man. Arnold, just knockout shot here. But it is definitely worth to mention my Christian is winning in the lag department. Here in the ab and thigh, and uh, this is difficult to say. I don't think it's fair, Mike Christian. It's the timing, I believe. He is, his abs, I've seen his abs look much sharper than this. I almost want to give it to him. But look at those legs on the Austrian. Arnold, the 1974 Arnold, like I said, those legs were massive. And the abs to boot. But we all know Mike Christian probably would win the ab and thigh between these two. But the conditioning, too, I mean. But judging by these two pitchers, I would say it's either a tie or Arnold might even get the edge. And what a little showdown this is. Two men just in their primes at their peak. Look at the muscles. Look at the conditioning of Mike Christian. Much better, in my opinion, with the vascularity and the thin skin. But those muscles, the mass of Arnold's pecs, just bulging out three times as thick. The muscle fibers. And like I said, many people speak of Arnold's great conditioning. And you really look there, I detect maybe some feathering in Arnold's legs, if the camera was a little bit clearer. And you can, there's no doubt, look at the... The striations and the, the looks like little fingers in his chest is just muscle fibers. Wow. But it is a close one here. I'm here to tell you structurally these guys are very similar. Like Yar Pick says. And that's pretty much been the thought of this entire competition. This man here, Arnold Schwarzenegger, has been edging Mike Christian out in pretty much every pose. But I will give this man his due, Mike Christian. He was an awesome athlete. And let's face it, he was going up against probably the greatest of all time. And it was only one decade ahead, so it wasn't like there was that many advancements. But, sorry Mike, this man is your winner, in my opinion, in this little comparison. Thanks uh, once again to Yarpek. Excellent little comparison idea. Keep those ideas coming. Well, do it. Hit the button. Hit the scrub, subscribe. Hit the subscribes. Do it. Well, there's not much time. The time is running out. You click the button. Click it. Come on. Do it. Do it now. Come on. It's right here.